welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video and today we're going to be vlogging a bit more doing a bit more bits and bobs and see what we've got so the video i did last time with the spring eye bush and everything like that i'll carry on with that vehicle there we are doing second axle lift axle discs so we're going to be time lapsing a bit i'll show you a few bits we'll do some talk stuff uh, but mostly it's going to be see what happens today. I've got this to do on it. I've got, I think, offside spring eye bush to do, tap it, all that kind of stuff. So, plenty of work to keep me going, really. Um, so, we're going to get on with that. Let's get the wheels off, um, have a look at these discs, and um, we'll get cracking on the day and see what happens. Better go and make myself a brew as well. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. And, um, Go on. So heavy, such a nightmare to get off. It was a nightmare to get out. Like, had to lube it, lube it loads, hit it with a hammer, spin it, hit it, lube it, loads of different stuff. So, anyway, so if you know about these bolts, what an absolute pain they can be. Tip if I was going to give any tip, don't put a gun on it, don't try and whiz them off straight away. Um, you'll just round them off or you'll snap them and then you'll have a nightmare on your hands so for me I'll just get a socket use an old, old one so I don't need the best snap on one and then oh, this is just how I do it and then literally I've done that one already I think cheating here do a new one And then all I'll do with like a little whiz gun then is then whiz them all out, but don't whiz them out with a gun straight away. So time up this, let's get this disc off. Right, that wasn't hard work. Line. It's off, so the next thing we need to do, we need to clean up the hub and everything. Um, make sure it's all clean for the new disc and that to go on. Um, so when the new disc goes on, it'll just slot on nice and easy, do you know what I mean? So, let's have a brew. And, um, clean everything up and then we'll put the new disc on, get it all down and bang it back on. So now put the disc off. We're just gonna replace the ABS sensor. Right, so you might as well replace it, that's the way I see it. 
so I'm going to change that, clean all this up, get the casing out of here and fit a new one and then put a new disc ready. Disc is all done, cleaned, bolted, new ABS, um, sight ring. So now we're gonna put this up, get the washer on, get the nut on, torque it up, and then probably nearly home time. So this is like a late lunch time sort of start job. So let's uh, let's get the hub on and go from there. That was um, this and all that done. I was going to end the video here, well, for today. Um, I was going to um, just carry on tomorrow, but the bit's turned up for the Fiesta for the door car, so we'll record that. Maybe record it, put it in the video. Um, yeah what a day that that um this and that hub on that axle was so it was so it was so hard to get off it took ages to get off you know what is a simple job it, it can be a nightmare it can be real time consuming you know break getting all them bolts out and everything like that and putting it all back together and getting the disc actually off the hub is, can be a nightmare but there you go that's part of the job so i'm gonna go home see if my fingers got here and uh, maybe we'll continue the video so got the bits here I got them off, off eBay a company called pickup spare so they delivered when they said just fingers crossed it's the right one so enough of the chit chat let's get on get this door stripped and replace this regulator because it's getting hot and not being able to window is a pain in the ass This uh, mile was too small, so 
I'm gonna see if I can swap the regulator over or not, whether it's the same, I'm not sure. I just knew this would happen. But let's get door card off and have a look and see if we can't swap something over. So there's the old one that's broke. Uh, old door card. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a problem. It's uh, not the right one. No words. No words whatsoever. Oh dear me. It's the next day. Caliper's on. We've got to put the um, chamber back on, put the new pads in, carry all the wiring up. Uh, we've got new studs in. People are going to go, oh, why are you changing the studs for? Just wasting money like I've had before. Well, this, this is a 16 blade truck. So it's, what, six years old? How many times does that wheel come on and off, on and off? And don't say not many because it's a drive axle, it's the steer axle, they get swapped around and all kinds of stuff. So for me, for the sake of whatever, how much it is, put studs in, new nuts, I know it's all good. So we're gonna get the pads in, we'll adjust all that up, put the chamber back on, secure the wire and wheel back on, and then we're gonna crack on with the other side. Probably won't film the other side because uh, we've already done this, but we're getting there. Slowly but surely, we are getting there. So that was it all done, that was the discs, pads, all that done. That was a bit of the fiesta done. I've ordered a new window regulator, which should be here Tuesday. And what else? I had a problem with it. I took it on a long journey before I even took it. The header tank boiled up and everything like that. So I've ended up putting a new radiator and header tank. I've done, I've done 300 plus miles in it this weekend and it's been fine. So. Just one of them things, it happens when you do stuff like that, so yeah, a little bit different today, a little bit of trucks, a little bit of that, a little bit of the fiesta and everything, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, if you click that subscribe button, I really appreciate it, and I hope I can catch you all in the next video.